Dr. Jason Saunders here with HBOT USA. I wanted to talk a little bit about hyperbaric oxygen and nerve healing or nerve regeneration. I've been getting a few questions more recently regarding, you know, exactly how does hyperbaric oxygen help with things like post-stroke recovery or neuropathy or even potentially with spinal cord injury. And so there are a few mechanisms at work. Uh, I'll discuss some of those mechanisms and then I'll share a few studies below just so you can uh, look at the detail behind some of these studies so you can understand those mechanisms in more detail if you want. So the idea is, uh, is a few fold. So hyperbaric oxygen provides an increased level of oxygen in the body and that oxygen can be used as a cell signaling device, which I'll talk about a little bit more, as well as a fuel source. So from a fuel source standpoint, that increased oxygen provides the body with increased level of energy production, which those cells could use for performance, for function, or for healing, depending on what those cells are, are needing at that time. From a cell signaling standpoint, hyperbaric oxygen, or really with changes in pressure, that becomes a way to signal cells to adapt to increasing and decreasing levels of oxygen. And we know that there are certain chemical messengers and chemicals that are released in our body when we go through different changes of oxygen levels and different changes in pressure levels. And so VEGF, which is uh, for angiogenesis, so it's a chemical that our body releases uh, for an increase in either healing damaged blood vessels or in growing new blood vessels. So we know that oxygen or gas exchange as a whole occurs in the capillaries, in the microcirculation in our body. And anytime there's an injury, whether it's potentially a spinal cord injury or a neuropathy of some kind or nerve damage, a stroke, there is vessel damage. There's damage to the capillaries. And if there's damage to the capillaries, we can't bring oxygen to the area to fuel it. And we can't get inflammation and inflammatory chemicals away from the area to allow it to heal. So rebuilding the micro circulation or the microvasculature in that area is critical to the healing response of any nerve. And we know that VEGF is the signal that our body uses to recreate that network of capillaries. So increased VEGF is definitely one of those really important uh, characteristics that, uh, that occurs from a result of hyperbaric oxygen. Another one is a thing called BDNF, brain-derived neurotrophic factor. And what that is, is it's growth factor for nerves. So many studies have shown that increased hyperbaric oxygen through pressure and through oxygen changes, we get an increase in BDNF, which means we're getting increasing in growth factors that are geared specifically toward uh, regenerating nerve tissue or rebuilding new nerve tissue, whichever the case might be. Another is glial cell activation. So we get an increase in certain neurons, glial cells are one of those. So certain neurons are increased in terms of function and regeneration. Uh, but we also get an increase in autophagy. And autophagy, as many of you probably already know, but autophagy is a process where the body is recycling old and broken or dysfunctional or damaged cells and basically sorting through them and then reusing them to rebuild new, healthy, and more optimally functioning cells. And that process of autophagy allows us to clean up debris, clean up the garbage, and really wipe out dysfunctional cell types. And it leaves a, a, a space for stem cells to move in and then recycling those old parts with new cells, we can recreate a healthier environment uh, and we can recreate a whole new line of, of cell type in whatever damaged area there is. And so there have been a few great studies on hyperbaric oxygen with increased autophagy in an area of damage, which shows that that increased autophagy, along with the other things we know, the VEGF, the BDNF, um, the stem cell release, together all of those pieces create synergy for that recovery, that healing, and that regeneration of tissue, including nerve tissue, which not too long ago was assumed that nerve tissue was unable to regenerate. This is not true, and it's been proven many times over now that we can regenerate nerve tissue. We just need to create the right environment to allow for that to happen. Thanks again. I'll see you next time.